so welcome back to the another lecture so so far we have seen how to design a riveted connection and how to find out the strength of a joint so these are the fasteners right the riveted connection bolts and now we will discuss on the welded connection actually so both has its own merits and demerits also even though so some cases will have to go for rivets and some cases will have to go for welds like that so before going into detail so we'll have to go through some technical terms uh, like and we will explain what are the technical terms and what is the importance of the technical terms in design we'll go in detail first in effective throat thickness size of weld effective length of the weld effective area permissible stresses which is very important because this is the one which governs the design strength of the fillet weld what is a fillet weld what is a butt because there are two types of welds like one is fillet weld other one is a butt weld actually we take a case here look at the picture see this small picture here you can see that this plate is connected welded with another plate it is got a fillet weld actually okay because we can see the weld outside it projects outside okay now take a small cross section suppose take connection and this is a picture it is a, a blow up picture of a weld okay so it will be see this this dotted line indicates a right angle triangle and this hatch line is called reinforcements because after once you welded this will be some projections will be here outside slags and we will have to chip it off okay this will comes outside like this okay right so this size is normally since it is this size and this size will be same so this is called size of the weld this distance and this distance so automatically this will be 45 degree this also will be 45 degree and from this point from the vertex or this point to the a line if i draw which makes a 90 degree with this and this is called your throat thickness <coughs> so it is normally it is represented by t small t or this will give you much more clarity on this so this is this is a this yellow color it shows a cross section of a weld wherein i have removed this projections outside and this is your size of the weld and this is your size of the weld and this distance as i told you before this should make a 90 degree with this perpendicular i mean the hypotenuse so this is the throat thickness normally we denote by t so the the concept behind why we are taking this throat thickness is you see i can draw a number of planes like this i can draw here 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 keep on from this point to this point i can draw number of planes but this is this t from here to here will give you the least distance this is the smallest distance or whenever a load comes or whenever the weld fails this fails through this plane so this is the weakest plane because other planes will give you a larger area so how do you find out t that is throat thickness if you know the size of the weld how do you find out t so it's so obvious it is 45 degree 45 degree so t is nothing but s cos 45 cos 45 is nothing but 0.707 or we can roughly we can take 0.7 also no problem so if you know the size of the weld the, th the throat thickness can be found out by 0.707 throat thickness is t is nothing but 0.707 times size of the weld this cyan color let us say this effective length of the weld and this is the plane this is throat thickness ab is the throat thickness so this is the area or this is the plane which will fail first this is the weakest plane now <laughs> this is a fillet weld a, a simple fillet weld actually so you can see here this figure where is that figure okay this is fillet weld okay so you can see that at the end, both ends you know there is it will not be straight actually there will be a small curvature will be there this is approximately equal to s and s so the effective the total length is called 
the length of the belt and the effective length means at this point where there is this straight line this is a straight line this is nothing but l effective is nothing but l minus 2s so this for all, most of the old calculations we will be using the effective length not the overall length please remember on that the effective length is mainly used to find out the strength of the weld so all calculations we will use only effective length so how do you find out strength of the weld strength of weld is nothing but the load how much load the weld can take load is nothing but stress into area right the stress is nothing but permissible because you see when the joint fails in the welded joint fails all, always it fails by shear only so the permissible shear stress in the weld is the one you take it as a stress usually it is denoted by tau vf and how do you find out effective area so we know that the throat thickness t we have seen there it is 0 0.707 yes and the length of the weld is l effective okay l effective this distance so strength of the weld is nothing but l effective into 0 0.707 into tau vf this tau v the value of tau vf is nothing but shear stress in on weld if it is a sharp weld we can take the value 108 110 newton per millimeter square whereas in the case of field weld means that if you if you do this welding in the field you you cannot have better quality control in that case the stress should be reduced by 20 percentage and i guess 816 1969 gives the values of uh, uh, you know tau vf actually but here we will be taking this 110 or 108 because in this case we will be considering only the shear stress okay and other cases we will see but 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 in case of in that case we will have to see some other 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 loads one i mean other stresses 142 so here we will be seeing only the 110 what number millimeters so we will be considering only this one and the size of the weld we have seen here this is called size of the weld yes yeah this is called size of the weld this for the size of the weld normally it depends upon thickness of the minimum i mean th thickness of the thicker plate thicker plate actually so up to 10 mm we can take the minimum size is uh, 3 mm and 10 to 20 it is 5 mm it's already shown in the is code 816 remember that for Welding, we won't we won't be using IS 800. It's a separate code is there for uh, welding, and when the thick, thick, thickness of the thicker plate is 20 to 32 mm, it is 6 mm, and uh, about 32 to 50, it is 8 to 8 and uh, 10 mm. So this is what the minimum size of the weld. The another thing is that same way. Another thing is maximum size of the weld is also there. We should consider. So it's a rolled edge. What do you mean by rolled edge, and what is mean by because normally if the edge is very straight that's called a straight edge rolled edge means it, it will not be straight it will be like you know so a small slanting will be there so the maximum size is nothing but 3 by 4 in the thickness of the edge and uh, if it is a straight edge s max maximum size of the weld is nothing but t minus 1.5 and coming to the pitch of the weld we have seen the pitch of the rivet same way when you do this pillet weld how much will be the pitch there is a condition for minimum pitch so the minimum pitch should not be so this is this is your pillet weld so we talk about this portion this is overall length this is called clear pitch this is clear pitch if it's effective length and this is the effective pitch the effective pitch should not be more than 12t or 200 mm or 16t 200 mm so this 12T 200 mm stands for compression and this is for tension. So normally we can take 16 T or 200 mm because most of the cases we will be seeing only compression only, I mean tension only. Finally, when there is a lapping is there, when you do a lap joint using welding, let us say the B is the breadth of the, I mean the width of the plate and L is the overlap. So this condition should be satisfied. At any case, L should not be less than B this L should not be less than B this is called side fillet weld you can see the, you are doing the welding only at the sides here you can see all three sides so this is side fillet and this is called end fillet and the minimum overlap this value of L minimum should not be less than 40 where T is thickness of the thinner plate remember here it is a thinner plate 
and if l is less than b or b is greater than 16t look at the condition l less than b or b greater than 16t then it is mandatory to provide the n fillet weld here so having understood this basic concepts of weld we will go for a problem now okay so try to solve this problem and understand the concepts how this the how this concepts what you have studied can be applied here in this problem thank you and we will continue in next class